we'll be demonstrating how to make agarose gels using the Mini One Electrophoresis system. You will need a gel green cup, a microwave, casting stand, complete with gel casting trays and combs, and a paper towel. Take your gel cup and tap or knock all the agarose chunks to the bottom. Partially peel back the lid. It is important not to leave the cup sealed as sealed cups can explode in the microwave. One gel cup makes one gel. Place the cup into the microwave. The microwave time depends on the microwave, but we generally start with 20 seconds. Up to five gel cups can be heated at once, but the microwave time may increase to 30 seconds, for example. While your agarose is melting in the microwave, set up the casting stand. The gel casting stand is designed to allow for up to two gels to be made at the same time. Remove the clear, hard plastic lid and check that the acrylic gel casting trays are in the stand. If not, place the trays into the stand they should fit smoothly in only one orientation and should not be forced. Now we're going to check on our gel cup. Take out the cup and swirl while checking for any unmelted pieces of agarose. Look carefully as they can be transparent. If there are any small chunks, Put the gel cup back into the microwave for another five seconds. Swirl and check again. One way to be sure that the agarose is completely melted is to look for any bubbles or shadows. Unmelted agarose refracts light less smoothly than melted agarose. Allow it to cool for 15 seconds. Then pour the contents of one gel cup into a single gel casting tray, which is on one side of the casting stand. Again, one gel cup only makes one gel. Some of the agarose may seep underneath the gel tray. Don't worry, the gel will still run. Put the comb into the casting stand. You can choose to make a gel with either six larger wells or nine smaller ones. If you are running DNA samples, put the gel comb into the furthest slot of the casting stand. There is a slot in the middle of the gel casting stand to insert the combs as well. This is used only for running electrophoresis with a dye kit and should not be used for running DNA samples. Notice one side of the combs is much wider than the other side and it corresponds to the spaces in the casting stand. The combs can only fit in one orientation. Again, it should not be forced and check that the comb is straight and flat across the top. Leave undisturbed for at least 10 minutes to allow the agarose to set up and solidify properly. Double check to make sure that the gel has completely solidified. Look to see that the agarose, which used to be completely clear, is now more opaque or cloudy looking. Remove the gel comb by holding the casting stand down, wiggling the comb slightly while you do so. A suction may be pulled, so make sure you do this step slowly. To remove the casting tray from the stand, hold the side of the casting tray and pull up. Wipe the bottom of the gel casting tray on a paper towel to remove any excess agarose gel. Do not wipe the sides off. If you want to store the gels overnight, leave the gels and casting trays in the casting stand. Add some buffer to them, the same type of buffer used to run the gel, and make sure the wells are filled first. Then add one milliliter of the buffer to the surface. Rock the casting system slightly to make sure the buffer is spread across the entire surface. Place the cover over the casting stand and store at four degrees Celsius. Remember, gel green cups contain a light sensitive DNA stain, so keep them protected from light as much as possible. A good way to do this is to wrap the casting stand in aluminum foil. You are now ready to use your newly cast gel with the Mini One electrophoresis system.